So, all right. All my loyal fans and subscribers, look. I am about to get my vaccine. First one, not sure which one it is. But, we are on Front Street right now, downtown. Downtown Toronto. And this is the convention center for all of those who want to know where that is and at this point this is where the vaccine is going to be administered no my wife she really don't want to get the the whatever moderna but um oh yeah and by the way that is where the leafs play for all of those baseball fans so yeah anyhow this is the convention center and as you can clearly see cn tower right there uh-huh so we are about to get the vaccine today and um all right let's hope we don't get sick and i noticed that there are people everywhere and some of them not even wearing any mask you know but that's about life still you know I don't know if this girl here look like she get the vaccine. She'll hold her arm like it's sick, like she get the vaccine. But anyhow, here are your signs right here, and here's a guy right here, no mask, and and well, I don't think you can actually miss the vaccination center, you know, because here are your signs showing you everywhere where you can go. And if I sound like I'm out of breath, it's because I've been quarantined inside for a year and some months and I haven't walked anywhere. This is literally the first time I'm going outside, out in the wild, so to speak. But yeah, so we have arrived at the vaccination center. And there are people out here, don't know what they're arguing about. And, um, but this is where we are going. No, our appointment is not until 3.30 So, we are not going to go in just yet But we are just going to let you know That this is where you can come So this is the Metro Convention Center downtown And this is your vaccination center Now all of these smart people See a man here, he's wearing two masks And all his eyes fixed up There's no way he's going to get the coronavirus <laughs> This is a smart man right there all right so people listen this thing here is this thing here is real it's not a it is not a hoax like some people like to talk about and there are people dying everywhere so look if i can get my corona if, if i can if i can get my coronavirus vaccine then everybody else can get theirs uh, i'm a big strong guy and i'm good all right so this is where you get it. See the line up here, but where you're supposed to line up. But nobody is lining up because, well, I think they may be a little bit efficient. But we're going to see how this thing works out. We're going to see how they do it. You get your thing on your phone and you show them. There's a lady at the beginning who tells you what to do. So first of all, by appointment only for eligible personnel and how this works is that you get your phone and you have to go in and um, and show them your appointment on your phone so and these are the gentle people at the front everybody is doing this this is the vaccine thing welcome everybody all right so I am being told I can't photograph, so look here, I am going to cut this off right now and as you can see, this is what it looks like inside, alright? Alright, so let's get it popping, please keep your distance. so we weren't really allowed to take any photographs inside they had a 
certain amount of privacy concern about this sort of thing. But um, we have gotten the COVID-19 shot. And to be perfectly honest, it didn't hurt. It didn't feel any way. In fact, I've had mosquitoes bite me worse than this before. So look, it was also quite painless. And let me explain this to all the people who are a bit reluctant about getting this. It was very, very efficient. Nobody um, did anything untoward. It wasn't hard to do. We didn't. They, they, and of course, this being Canada, all you did was show, was show your health card and just walk right in from station to station to station. And the longest we had to wait was the five, 15 minutes at the end where they, you know, you just sat around and people made sure that you were okay and you weren't having any adverse, any immediate adverse reaction to the shot. But apart from that, the whole thing was quite smooth. Everybody knew what they were doing. It was all quite painless. And let me show you something, by the way. Asha, got it. Hold on a little bit. Let me see if I can show you. I'm going to just try. That's all. I'm going to try to get right here. Look. See? Right there. Not very hard at all. See what I mean? As I said, I've had worse mosquito bites than this. And this was all quite good. So, look. All the people who are afraid of needles, let me tell you this. It looks worse on television than it actually feels. And I kid you not. Because, look. When I was a kid, I had tetanus. I had to have a hundred injections in one week. Uh, yeah, that sounds impossible, but it did actually happen. And look, I am scared of injections. And I can tell you this. This was totally painless. And I would recommend it to anybody. I got the Pfizer shot. And, um, yeah. And, as I said, totally painless. Anyway, listen. If you are thinking that this is a bit and you don't want to do it, you don't really have a problem. To be honest, I would just say this. Just come on down, register, get your shot, and so that you can walk around. Look at the beautiful places that you all can't go simply because we are all inside and turn, you know, and all locked in and quarantined and all of that. And all of you guys who like beautiful women, you can't even have beautiful women like these because what? You're locked inside and all of that sort of thing. So listen up. Come and get your shot. This is not a problem. I have had it and I'm still alive. All right. So I'm just saying my piece.